GTS. Battery power. <laughs> Stock much, totally it? stuck, but, but, but the other one is like a CS yeah. back. So CS, yeah. It's actual, so CS was actually legit like model type yeah. numeration. So yeah. what, what does it do? I mean, CSL, we all know with all the carbon fiber boxes and roof and uh, fancy ducktails. So what does a CS do? It's got like, the, so the traction control system from the CSLs in it, like mm -hmm. single yeah. button steering wheel. M-Track mode. Yeah, M-Track mode. It's got the steering rack from the CSL. Mm -hmm. um, Slightly different wheels, same looking, but slightly smaller actually in gauge. Yeah. Um, and brakes. So it's totally yeah. stock. I think they called it a ZCP package. Z in okay. Europe. I think that's what they called it, wasn't it? Yeah. All right. Um, but in the UK, there's only like 233 of these. So. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. The CSL. That's <laughs> nice. Well, pretty much fully stock car. Usually, I would probably say like, nah, but. In these conditions, we won't be like pushing too much power or brakes anyway. So it's uh, um, uh, there is an exception to everything. Like I said, also no stock brakes. But if it's a Porsche, like the latest one, then of course it can be stock or a Ferrari, Lamborghini maybe. Anyway, this is a discussion for another time. Let's go uh, do a lap in this uh, E46 M3 CS. Yeah. All right, we're on the track with the E46 CS. Yeah, and very wet, very cold, uh, with yeah, probably no grip on the tires. But it's a good practice because I think it's the first real-wheel drive car in the wet that I'm driving this year. And since we're intent on racing the full year, hopefully at some point we're gonna have a wet race and I need to know vaguely what I'm doing. So. Temperature warning. <laughs> exactly. Degrees. It reminds us that it's very cold. We need to really take it smooth and easy. But it's nice. We can talk a bit about the wet line and what we do and what we shouldn't do. So short shifting to keep the power delivery torque curve a bit manageable, staying on the outside, especially on the old pieces of tarmac. Slow feet, fast hands was the advice given to me by my friend Ice Cold Moritz. And the car goes into ABS here already, you cannot see it on camera. Here you have actually like, you can hug the curb if you want to, but you need to watch out with coming off. And here we go, staying on the out, out, out. Someone who's watching like a track video for the first time is like, what the hell are you doing? You don't know the lines. It's like, yeah, well, it's exactly <laughs> the opposite. Staying on the outside where the grip is optimal, crossing over, going to the outside again, and then going on the gas. Love the emotion. Fantastic. I'm not racing, I'm not competing, 
I don't freaking care that I could have done gone 40 kilometers per hour faster through there. This is amazing. Yeah, it's so fast compared to that one. It's fucking awesome. The drift corner through here. Drifting is not allowed during TF. So we're just like using the gravity as a reference point because this means cars are not driving there during the dry days. So you have optimal grip conditions. This is a funny one, so you go to the outside of the dry braking, go back to the wet line to the outside, and it looks as if you're drunk. <laughs> but that's the optimal grip it's line hard. in the wet. So, and here, I got caught off guard because this section has been repaved in 20, 2018, I think, 18 or 19, and it was very grippy in the wet, but now not anymore, and especially the braking zone is horrible, so you really need to watch out there. So break off the line, stay longer out. It's a full-on mirror experience. <laughs> Here's staying out, out, out. Some fast GT3 or something behind us coming up. I cannot see you right in the mirror, but something quick. So off the wet dry line, down the brakes, turning in, maybe downshift. It's a Taycan. Wow. Hmm. Fly, little fella, fly. Taycan GTS. Battery power. <laughs> yeah. Oof. He's not afraid to brake on the. <laughs> on the. Um, the wet line, um, on the dry line in the wet, that's what I'm trying to say. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's different gravels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eagles have one side on, not super fan of them in the wet, but. It, but everyone will know it because they will hate it. Yeah. 
Yeah, let's take the curb. <laughs> also should actually stay off it because it's super useless in the wet in these conditions. But photographer was standing there and we did everything for the picture. <laughs> Staying out, 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 looking downhill. I mean, there's still lots of limit, but yeah, it's not my car, so we're like, I don't want to start the season with some bullshit. So here's a funny one. Here's a small piece on the left that they repaved this. In the wet, you have lots of grip, which is fantastic. So also this you can use to your advantage. You might even have some dry laps later today, but I'm afraid it's just too cold for it to dry out. But yeah, you cannot have everything in that book. Fancy color, whoever you are. It's nice. weather unless you just want to go sideways everywhere. <laughs> exciting YouTube video. <laughs> Probably relatable for people because people can, you know, they can get into these cars. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's just like, it doesn't matter. Like, even if I'm gonna drive like a full race car in full wet slicks and you're gonna put it out, people are like, oh, it's still not fast. <laughs> I didn't see the speedometer hit go above 200. I mean, we have probably hit 200, but I mean, it's like, for perception, it's yeah, and for, it is. For, for the general public, let's yeah. see. I loved it. Absolutely fantastic. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Yeah, it was very, very good fun. <laughs> 